Years ago, a child in our grandparents' generations, if they developed cancer, it was pretty much a death sentence. Science and technology are progressing at a pace that allows us to dream about experiments and ideas to cure cancer that we didn't dare to think about before. This is a story about groundbreaking research that happens in our community every day. It's about the determination of those researchers. It's about the kids who are fighting acute myeloid leukemia. When a kid gets acute myeloid leukemia, um, they can present in many different ways, but in general, they just feel incredibly crummy, like they just got hit with the worst flu in the world. You just can't help but be inspired by how much resilience little kids show, older kids show, families show through the entire experience. Dr. Zhang leads a team of researchers who call themselves the Three Amigos, and they think beating AML all starts with a jumping gene. The AML therapy that we're proposing revolves around this very novel idea of using DNA sequences that are encoded in the AML cell against itself. And so these DNA sequences are called jumping genes because they have this very curious ability of actually jumping across the DNA map or the human genome. And in doing so, they actually elicit a huge inflammatory response within the AML cells. In essence, we are awakening a immunological beast within the AML cells as a way to destroy it. My AML journey started on a basketball court. One day, I was running up and down the floor. The next day, I wasn't. Honestly, in the beginning, I thought it was just a hard recovery from a respiratory issue. I mean, the doctor was talking and I literally like stopped listening. Like I couldn't hear anything. I could just see his mouth, you know, moving. For more than six months, my mom and I lived on the oncology floor at Children's Health. First, there was chemotherapy, which didn't really work. After that, a bone marrow transplant with the only donor match that could be found, my seven-year-old brother, Cameron. He just had seen his brother suffer so much, and he knew it was his way to help him. It's a lot of pain. Um, it doesn't last forever, but when you're in it, it's, it's really hard to watch your kid go through that. It's, it's sort of a dream to be able to imagine a treatment where we don't have to put kids through the most intensive forms of toxic treatments. Hopefully, AML is over for me, but kids are diagnosed with AML every day. And that's why Dr. Zhang's research to develop therapies to eradicate AML is so important. We're honored to help Dr. Zhang and her research, and so your donations make the world of a difference to all these children now and the future. Every day, children's cancer researchers at UT Southwestern Medical Center and Children's Health explore. They discover. They are determined to find cures for kids like me.